Hey everyone, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to talk the IT crowd. I don't know exactly how to start today because this should just be a fun, entertaining reaction, but I feel like I need to say something. Um, it's been no secret that I've had a challenging relationship with this show, with the IT crowd. I have absolutely adored some episodes, but uh, there have been multiple times where I feel the humor just doesn't sit right for me. It makes me uncomfortable. And, and I've spoken about it. And I would hope that because this is a reaction channel, that's why you guys come to visit the channel is to see my honest reactions. I'm reacting the way I feel. And I get that my reaction may not be yours. And that's totally fine. Um, we are not universally identical. We have different backgrounds. We have different lifestyles. We come from different places and we view things differently. We have different senses of humor. Totally fine. So I have no problem for you to comment saying you disagree with my opinion. I'm just by having this channel and me stating my opinion, I'm automatically disagreeing with others. So I, I am all for an open place where we can discuss differences in opinion. I am all for that. I encourage that. I, I don't want this to be nothing but fan service. If, if there's something that you don't like about a piece of art, you should be able to say so. So I encourage you to say, if you disagree with me, I encourage you to tell me. But what I really insist is that, and this isn't to everybody by any means, this is to a very small minority of the people watching this channel. Please leave the personal attacks out of it. I can take it, but it's not something that I look forward to. Tell, tell me why I'm wrong, but don't insult me. Um, or other commenters. I, I, I ask that you all remain civil, polite, by all means, enter an open discussion. But let's be adults here, people, please. That's all I'm asking. And again, I feel like I'm, I'm saying this to a very small minority, and yet that very small minority can make, your, make themselves very noticed, very vocal. Um, and if you're feeling that I'm targeting you with this comment, then consider your actions. That's all I ask. Um, and if you'd rather unsubscribe, goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Not comfortable doing that. I've been putting off this reaction all day just because of what I just said. Didn't really want to do that, but I felt it was necessary. <sighs> Here we are guys, season four of the IT crowd, the last proper season. I know there's a, a one-off episode that's considered season five, but really we're here in the final series, seven episodes to go. And I am hoping that we get great IT crowd. This, this show is unusual for me because there are so many hilarious moments from it. Like when it hits right, it hits so strong for me. And it's not that the moments that don't hit are meh for me, that they're actually like uncomfortable and negative. And that's why it's such a polarizing show. Maybe not just for me, but for a lot of people. I'm hoping we get the positives. I'm anticipating that somewhere this season we're going to get a negative. And because I'm expecting that, I'm okay with that. Um, but I'm crossing fingers for a lot more positives than negatives, if that makes sense. Anyway... Let's just get into it. Let's hope for some laughs. Give me some good Moss and Roy. And here we go. This is episode one of series four, and it's called Jen the Fredo. Does this sound mysterious? Yeah, it's quite mysterious. I was hoping for ruddy mysterious. <laughs> it's fairly mysterious. Fairly. Compiling a playlist for a role-playing game I'm hosting. Nice. Important to get the right Atmos. Okay, I don't know what you're talking He's about. He's a dungeon master. Kind of like it's a awesome. Dungeons and Dragons thing. Oh, 
is this something to do with sex? Ha! Far from it, Jen. <laughs> no. You see, in role-playing, one person is a dungeon master and tells the players what they're experiencing. Played over a few hours, the game employs dice rolls to determine the outcome of certain events. Now, unlike most board games you might be familiar with... Moss, yeah, I want to stop listening to this. I completely understand. <laughs> so, a post has opened up for Entertainment's Manager. It's not for you, Jen. <laughs> what are you talking about? Organising cultural events for visiting business partners? That is so me. It's not, though. It's really not for you. And she's photoshopped out of all of them. Yeah, it's like someone broke up with Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, you're obviously talking about me. No, no, no. It's, it's no. fine. Um, look, I realise I haven't been the easiest person to no. be around the last few weeks. If we can all just carry on, it's normal. My God, my God, it's normal. My God, I feel like I've come out the other side of it now. So everything is going to be okay from here on in my heart hurts. I know you're not used to being in a long-term relationship. It's really rare for me. It's so rare. <laughs> but take it from me, most of them just don't work out. She's right, Roy. And how would you know? I do all right. <laughs> well, if you must know, I met a girl on holiday. They're always on holiday, aren't they, Moss? Oh, shut up, Dumpo! The elephant who got dumped! <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> it's not for you, Jim. <laughs> what? Why not? Entertainment's manager. But traditionally, the role of entertainment's manager has always been held by a man. I don't need to remind you of the report that denounced Renham Industries as an institutionally sexist organisation. Now you hold on a minute, sugar tits. <laughs> Everyone saw through that report. And I even got that award off those feminists. That's a shithead of the year award. <laughs> Did you not read the base? <laughs> oh. Women, eh? <laughs> what are they? Who knows? Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> What's going on in their little heads? Don't ask me. I'm not a flipping women psychiatrist. <laughs> but I have learned one or two things. Huh? In conversations with my mother. No. Oh no. <laughs> You'll just make it worse. Sorry, it's just I've, I've never seen you like this. No, I know. I, you can't help with this. You just can't. I've got it. Jen's entertainment manager. Mm. It's not for you, Jen. Is it, is it taking guests to strip clubs, basically? Why is it not for me? Jerry was the he was the company Fredo. You're the new Fredo. I don't know what you're talking about. Fredo from, Godfather. from the Godfather. Fredo, Jen. He was he was sort of a pimp. No, he took the ring to Mordor. <laughs> Come on, Moss. You know better than that. Things are different now. Businessmen are different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a woman, isn't she? Jen may look like an old maid holding pennies in her ass, but she knows the sleaziest roots around this old town I like to call Londinius. And what happened to Jerry? His heart exploded. <laughs> Brilliant! No, he's quite seriously ill. That's classic Jerry! Classic Jerry. <laughs> It's not for you, Jen. It's an all-woman show. It's very rude. An all-woman show. And it's rude. Eiffel Tower! Vagina <laughs> oh. <laughs> model. And the next time you take us to something about talking fannies, it better be about talking fannies. Women are a kind of savage animal who men have civilised with their insatiable sexuality. What don't you like about that? <laughs> like my women like I like my toast. Hot and consumable with butter. <laughs> you don't... Damn it. At least I try. And Random Industries is changing, ladies, for the better. The glass ceiling is now a glass floor. The women are floating above it, and the men are just looking up at them. I really need to talk to you about something. Ah, Jen. I'd like you to meet some very special women. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not work with prostitutes. <laughs> no, no, no. These are feminists. Oh, you can dress it up however you like. I don't charge for these potatoes. 
I don't like women who do. Don't listen to her. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm cringing so much. Oh. oh God, this is a nightmare. Oh. <laughs> Men, eh? Unless I'm very much mistaken, this seems to be a problem for which you need the male perspective. <laughs> you want a good time, right? One that walks on the wild side without compromising your principles? Yeah. Then you got it, baby! <laughs> which is why the game needs <laughs> a 20 sided dice. What is it? Some sort of computer game? In a sense, except it uses the most powerful processor known to man, the human mind. <laughs> <laughs> Through my words, you will experience the land of Elfenheart, from the mighty mountains that border the goblin wastelands, to the sewers that run like a spiderweb through the city of Jandor. I, gentlemen, will be your eyes. <laughs> that was a great pratfall. <laughs> what about him? What's this business with a face like a slapped ass? It's fine. I'm, she never said goodbye, so it's, I'm not gonna bore you with it. See that you bloody don't. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil, you're the gypsy assassin, Esmeralda. I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to be a woman. Just go with it. It will end. I don't think I want to hang with these guys. Ah, come on, Phil. They're gonna do things tonight that'll blow your mind. They're young, they're keen, and all they wanna do is show you a good time. <laughs> so get back there before you hurt their feelings. Jen's a pimp. Uh, could I steal the lovely Roy for a sec? Smile more, Roy. Who'd wanna role play with that face? I'm sorry, Jen, I'm just, I'm not feeling it tonight. Then fake it, sweetheart. I'll try harder, Jen. Okay. Good girl. Well, that cleaned the pipes. <laughs> I gotta thank you, Miranda, for giving me a second chance. I oh, don't mention it. Something tells me there's more to you than meets the eye. Do you mean the rumors that I killed my wife? <laughs> Are there rumors? No. <laughs> yes? One of the women from the IT department faxed a dossier of your behavior over the last 12 months. One of the women in the IT <laughs> The woman from the IT department. <laughs> The sound of your low-level magic attracts the attention of the palace guard. Damn it! Oh, throwing knife! Are you sure? Quite a low damage. I have a plus 40% chance of a critical. Direct hit. The oh. knife cleaves his head in twain, and some of his brains runneth down John II's invisibility cloak. Eiffel oh. Tower! Oh. <laughs> you have my thanks. And if you ever want to join the palace guard, you know where I am. The palace guard. <laughs> you have my sword. And my staff, and my bunny bracelet. <laughs> and whatever it is that I have. Ruddy mysterious. Ruddy mysterious. <laughs> who goes there? Tis I, Queen Eliza Eldritch of the Elves, who cruelly jilted you not three moons ago. Oh. Oh no. Don't do it. Oh. oh no. Don't do this. <laughs> oh no. Just go with it, Ron. Go with it, Ron. <laughs> oh. Hello, my queen. There's some acting going on. Holy crap. <laughs> What's you up to? Keeping busy. Missing you a little bit. What are you doing here? Sorry. <laughs> I sense a sadness in you. <laughs> it's just hard. You know? <laughs> I miss you. When I close my eyes, <laughs> it's still your face I see. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hard. It was not easy for me to come here, Dark Harden. But I had one thing I felt I needed to say to you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 
goodbye. <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. I can't believe I've never tried role-playing games before. I'm going to go home and tell the whole rugby club about it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm glad Jerry died. <laughs> Eiffel Tower! Eiffel Tower! Before you go, Jen, I know it was you. <laughs> You're you the afraid of. Heart. You broke you my broke heart. heart. <laughs> oh, you've cheered up. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, Jen. Thanks to a certain elfin queen. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Fredo in the film? Oh, the Godfather has him killed. Hmm? <laughs> and that was you. I'm going to go home. Is that just going to... Is he going to chuck it? Is it just going to miss her? Does he... <laughs> Problem solved. Run, Jen. <laughs> uh, th this episode sums up my entire experience with this show because I adored the whole Dungeons and, and the whole D and D scene. Like, just beautiful and. Yeah, super funny, but also, like, legitimately emotional. There was some, like, actual proper acting going on there. That There was story arc, like Moss looking out for Roy, his best friend, and dealing with it the, the, the only way he knew how, and it working. Like, all of that was just wonderful and hilarious. And then the, the cringy, cringy stuff at the beginning with with Douglas and his cronies just oh shivers up my spine and not in a really pleasant way at all just yeah I I, I get that Douglas is a reprehensible character but I don't feel any instinct to laugh at the terrible things he says and does it he he, he faces no repercussions for being a shithead Apparently, he even has sex with one of the women that gave him the award. It's a... Uh... But I'm not going to dwell on that, because the D&D stuff was freaking brilliant. I, I loved all of that. So, yeah, like, such highs and lows with this show, even in a single episode. But I'm going to do my best to savor the highs and forget the lows, I guess. I mean, I, I get if you guys have different opinions about this show. I get if you feel differently than I do, or you, you view it through a different prism, a different lens. You know, different strokes for different folks. I am valuing this journey because I'm finding some, like, brilliant comedy. But I'm, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't colored by some of the other content as well. But I don't think that makes it less less valuable am i glad that i'm going through this journey am, am i glad that i'm watching this show yeah it gives me a a broader base of experience with british comedy and i for the most part love british comedy what i've discovered in the last couple of years has been a really fun journey for me and everyone's going to have their own favorites and will I have favorite episodes from this series? Absolutely. Will this be one of my favorite series, period? I don't know. I'm going to have to sort of... Once it's all done, I'm going to have to look back and figure out the best way to evaluate that. Because this is definitely... It, it's very polarizing just for me. I, I respond to it in very extreme ways depending on what the specific moment is in the show. Um, but yeah... I'm, like I'm gonna remember the D and D stuff for ages, and and like it was. I mean that that might be the most special moment between Moss and Roy, who are best friends, than that we've seen. Period. Like I, 
the eye contact Moss was maintaining with Roy, and 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 Roy's like Chris O'Dowd's acting in that scene was like legitimately excellent. Like the look on his face when you know, like early on when he begs Moss, please don't do this. Because he sees where Moss is going, but but he's holding in the tears, and he's been dealing with the pain. And it, like, if if you had shot that slightly differently and played different music under it without a laugh track, it could have been an incredibly serious, touching moment. And and it still retained elements of that, but it also became incredibly funny. Yeah, man. <laughs> This show, guys, it's just so all over the place for me. But I'm glad I got rewarded with a scene like that in this episode. So I'm psyched for more. I'm going to miss this show when it's done. And we've only got a handful of episodes left. But I'm, I'm looking forward to the home stretch. I hope you guys are too. And until next week, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.